there is an imbalance in our lives. 95% of our thought goes to saving our skin, hardly anything to saving our soul. As a consequence, we are slowly going crazy individually and collectively. Amassing details about the Illuminati or corruption isn't going to save us. We can foil the Satanists by having a moment-to-moment -moment relationship with God. They want your soul. Nothing would infuriate them more than a massive worldwide religious revival. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. Thank you. We are becoming more externalized than ever. What does that mean? We seek satisfaction, knowledge, and meaning, outside ourselves, that is, souls. Our happiness depends on manipulating the world to give us ego strokes. Facebook has turned us into likes addicts. If we write on someone's wall and they don't reply, we are miffed. We are like squealing chicks, waiting for benefactors to bring us juicy worms in the form of money, sex or recognition. The sense that our happiness comes from outside ourselves is the cause of all addictions. The biggest mistake is conformity. In Thoreau words, is that all anyone knows is the wind that blows. Humanity is pretty clueless as to where it came from, why it is here and where it is going. Satanists control education and the mass media, and their first priority is denying the existence of God and our spiritual connection to Him. We are born alone, tread a solitary path, and meet our Maker alone, yet we spend our lives evading God, our constant companion. This self-evasion is experienced as emptiness and loneliness. Seeking happiness or guidance from society is looking into a wilderness of mirrors. When we watch a movie or even listen to music, we are stuck in the mindset of the artist. Entertainment rarely inspires, uplifts or nurtures the spirit. Human companionship often leaves us feeling dissatisfied and empty. I once saw this graffiti. If you hate being alone, other people must find you boring too. God is our constant companion by virtue of our soul. The Illuminati Satanists have made God a dirty word. God cannot be evaded or denied. He is reality. Truth, goodness, justice, love, beauty, bliss, things we all crave because they are inherent in our spiritual nature. How can atheists deny God when he has spiritual ideals? Can they deny the existence of spiritual ideals? God is a spirit, and we must love and worship him in spirit and in truth, said Jesus, John 4:24. Be ye therefore perfect, as your Father in heaven is perfect, Matthew 5:48. Atheism is simply a smokescreen for Satanism. Who can deny our craving for perfection? Imagine the soul is light, emanating from a slide projector. The slides are our thoughts. These slides are provided by entertainment and the mass media. We see a thought slide of a stake, we salivate. A sexy person and we feel lust. We see a stock going up, and we feel another kind of lust greed. The Illuminati is adept at providing an endless supply of these diversions. We are bombarded with nubile young women, selling everything, including the news. The Illuminati are constantly pushing sex in our face, a form of spiritual control. Our real identity is not the mind, or its thought slides. It is the light. By keeping our mind still, or clear, or thinking positive and eschewing negative ones, we can experience the light imminent truth, beauty, goodness, and love. Muddied water, let stand, becomes clear, said Lao Tzu. Cambridge Platonist poet, Henry Moore wrote. When the inordinate desire after knowledge of things was allayed in me, and I aspired after nothing but purity and simplicity of mind, there shone in me daily, a greater assurance than ever I could have expected, even of those things which before I had the greatest desire to know. Saint John of the Cross said, My soul is a candle that burned away the veil, only the glorious duties of light I now have. Amassing details about the Illuminati or world corruption isn't going to save us. We can foil the Satanists by having a moment-to-moment -moment relationship with God. They want your soul. Nothing would infuriate them more than a massive worldwide religious revival. This is the only thing that will stop the NWO. God is not an abstraction or something to be found in books. He is our soul. We need only locate him in our being and defer to him in our words and deeds. This is the essence of all true religions. Islam, for example, means obey. Gradually, our identity shifts from the thought slides to the light and we distance ourselves from our animal behavior. This is the purpose of life self-perfection. By becoming the light. By shining the light. Enlightenment. I expect Jesus literally shone. He referred to himself and his disciples as the light of the world. The light is life and the path of human development. Worldly desire is the path of death and destruction. This quest is the dedicated life. 
I haven't been able to achieve this, but at least I have a goal. Our religion is our day. Not what we espouse but what we do. The imbalance in our lives is because our secular society is a disguised satanic cult that denies the existence of the soul in God. Religion used to provide a balance between flesh and spirit. But our Kabbalist masters have eradicated religion or rendered it meaningless. So the challenge is to fill the vacuum either by finding a genuine religious practice or by some other means. Ideally, we will devote time each day to restoring psychic balance by nourishing our spiritual identity through obedience to God. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.